What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Haiku. Episode 7. Um, last time we ended where, uh, then the real spiker, or like the star spiker for Alba Jos I, uh, is coming out. And they really make him seem like a star, just the way like he's, he's just got like these features of like the pretty boy and like the popular guy at school, you know, like... Yeah, Mr. Popular. So anyway, um, we'll see how this goes. But um, yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say. Oh yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below. So please check that out. And yeah, let's jump into the reaction, guys. I knew it. I knew he was a fucking popular guy at school. Look at, look at the girls. <laughs> Knew it. He doesn't seem like he's actually nice. Seems fake. Oh. 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 ビオちゃん、久しぶり。ペケス。実力発動です。殺人サーブの師匠。けど、今は試合に集中しろ。最終セット絶対取るぞ。おいよ。田中さん、いかくやめて。そんなことがあるかね、みんな。ソキ、we Fake, I hate him. That fake niceness. I can't stand it. <coughs> Look at that cockiness on his face. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said they're not good at receiving. So, third captain Daichi last episode, right? Oh shit. Jesus! Damn! Damn, he's good! He studied them a little bit and let's figure all of this out. Oh, fuck. Better than, uh... Kageyama, I guess. I mean, he is his senpai. He learned everything from him. He's just gonna keep aiming it at them, isn't he? Fuck! Oh, but this time you're on his side. You're all allies on that side of the net. He <laughs> sounds like he's found Scooby Doo <laughs> when they run away. <coughs> yeah, let's go. I said that. Yeah, well, I didn't say it first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Again. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. Easy. Oh, He's so good. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh. He's not tall enough, but he, he threw it off a little bit by like tipping it. Again? Come on, perfect ball control, please. Show. You might have to keep your eyes open this time. He looked right at him. Like 
like amazed by him. He wasn't even upset by that. He was like, wow. Mm. This is really intense for their first, like, it's a practice match. Dude, 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 alright, you, you might be doing a bit much now. But fuck, this is some speech. He's like, I got a feeling, man. You guys are changing the world. Or the world of volleyball. Well, <laughs> maybe, I mean, that's still the world. That was amazing. No. I love it. <laughs> yeah, probably the first time. See, it's not just all about him anymore. Aww. Growth, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> oh, he's kind of smiling. Thank you, but... Oh. Yeah, そう。もちろん、サーブも磨いておくからね。そうだ。でも本当なら。レシーブがぐずぐずじゃ、すぐに限界が来るんじゃない。でがらワークアンエ。あら。確かに。インターハイ予選まで時間はない。けど、そろそ
fired up in a good way. He just gets a little too excited. Okay. Maybe he also gets very, like, defensive of people he loves, cares about, whatever. But maybe he just got too excited and broke something, and, like, they're like, alright, bro, now you're suspended for a week, and it was just, like, a funny thing. So, that thing... Oh, he was trying to work on his receive. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna be up there. He's watching. Oh. There he is! <laughs> Bet. <laughs> he's, he looks nice! Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! <laughs> he is little! Oh my god! He's so cute! I'm sorry, he doesn't want to hear that. He's handsome. Anyway. Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? Shit! Oh my gosh, I knew he was gonna pop up. I knew it because I saw the back and I'm like, and they they showed the ball way up there and like not everything was in frame, so I'm kinda like, is someone gonna pop up? I don't know. Anyway. Um But that thing with the water bottle, like they always use it for cutscenes or transitions, whatever. And I didn't think it was a real thing that they did to practice, but it actually makes sense. It's a smart uh concept strategy, whatever, to train. Um, oh, I still have this in. Um, oh my god, he's so cute! What's his name? What's his name? The Guardian, the Guardian, the Guardian. Look at him! He's so cute! Oh, you can't see him. I took him off the screen. Oh, adorable. Okay. But I want to see this, how he, like, stopped the rotation. Okay. I'm gonna watch it one more time. And he sent, he sent it to the setter. He did oh my goodness that is so cool hmm Karasuno's genius so you're missing one more then i would i think from the post or not from like that the final moment in the intro i usually have it on screen um in the youtube videos but i think so it's the blonde guy at the the shop the little mart where they got their like granola bars protein bars whatever they were He's gonna be their coach, which makes more sense because Daichi being the coach, or maybe the other guy in the green is their coach, I don't know. I don't know what his position is actually. But with the glasses, was he like their strategist? I don't know. Mm. Like he comes up with the plays and positions and shit, yeah. Um, I guess it's different than a coach. I'm not really familiar with sports, so I guess coaching you Maybe it's more like personal and like what the green guy in the, in the green with the glasses does is more like strategic. I don't know, whatever. But you're going to have the guy in the blonde who works at the mark come in and be your coach, which, okay, what I was going to say was it doesn't make perfect sense for Daichi to be the coach because he's still in high school. Like, yeah, he may have more experience than them, but like the other guy who's already graduated, like he probably has a lot more experience and he's seen a lot more. Um, so they want him to coach. But the other guy collapsed, the other one who they wanted to uh, originally come back and coach, um, who was a coach in the past, the older guy. Um, I guess that he can't come back now because he's not healthy, so this is like their replacement. This is their like runner-up. Um, and then you have the, your, your ace, Spiker? Or no, that wouldn't be their, your ace, Spiker, would it be? Your receiver right he's gonna be there like i guess you could say ace receiver i don't know but um that's like the key to your defense um you know you you do have to good have good offense and defense it's true and they're they're shit at receiving right now or at least some of them not all of them like they said show and suki need to work on it um but this is the thing I like, so I was going to originally say, like, they have time, but I guess they really don't have that much time. And like Daichi said, he's like, I could coach them as best I can, but I still don't think that, like, when push comes to shove and, like, in a game, like, I don't think I'm going to be able to give them what they need to do better, to get stronger. Um, 
like I said, he doesn't have all that experience like coaching. He has experience playing, not coaching. So it's like he kind of was like forced into a position he wasn't really qualified for or ready for yet, I guess. Um, and maybe they'd benefit more or wait, maybe I should say, maybe they would accept, mm, hmm, maybe they'll get better at a faster rate with the right coaching, with the right coach. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, maybe they'll excel at a faster rate with the right coaching. Um, and now that we've got this guy coming back, they're like a genius, they're a guardian. Maybe he could also give his input on plays. And then also now you'll have like a stronger or more solid. I don't want to say a solid, more solid, yes, defense. They still have to work on the other two. Uh, Suki and Sho still have to work on their, their receiving. And like I said, maybe having like a, um, a morning and a night practice or afternoon, whatever, evening practice would be beneficial to them maybe not every day during the week but maybe like a couple times a week or maybe they have them come in on Saturdays and have like a longer practice like instead of practice being I don't know how t long practice typically would be maybe like two hours after school maybe have them come in on a Saturday and practice for like four hours I don't know I mean you can have a break in between or maybe a few but like if they don't want to come in before school which I know I fucking wouldn't I'd rather have that Saturday practice then yeah do the saturday <clears throat> um because it's just like even with all the right coaching they still they only have a limited amount of time and a limited amount of practices until it's time to start competing for real in real matches so um whatever you can do to like i said you got to put more time in that's the only way you're going to do it um what else happened this episode I like how, like, at first, the the setter on, um, uh, what was it? The team? Well, whatever. The team they were playing against, the team Karasuno played against, um, their setter, <clears throat> the main setter, he, like, kind of portrayed as a bit of a dick at first, and then you kind of see, like, I mean, he was amazed by the show. Like, he, he, it, like, gen- <clears throat> Uh, it like brought genuine like joy to his face like he you saw that like just the glee it was it was like is it palpable yeah um and it was just so genuine like you could it wasn't fake at all it was just written all over all of their faces not even just his like everyone in that room in that gym was like there was just pure like astonishment and amazement on their face and like even the guy oh their their strategist oh, fuck, i really don't know what his name is i gotta write down his name i'll look it up after this or someone put it in the comments for me and i'll write it down give me the name of the their strategist the guy in the green jumpsuit with the glasses and um the setter and on the other team and then the the guardian if it's not a spoiler and the one of the the name of the guy at the shop, because I don't know if they gave his name either, and the old coach. So those five characters, please. Um, anyway, where was I at? So, yeah, they were all like, this, that's not something you see every day. Like, what just happened was, what's the word I want to look for? Like, it, 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 it's like, <laughs> breaking a barrier almost like they just shook the world of or at least the volleyball world or maybe in all sports I mean I don't know if it really would affect other sports but like maybe just the way generally maybe like sports would look at maybe like strategy I don't know or like just I think everyone in, in the sports world would, like, if they saw that, would just really, like, appreciate that and, like, see it for what it is, which is just, like, something you probably don't see every off, uh, very often. Like, it, it was, it was remarkable, and it, it, it's, I don't know, like, it's just got so much, like they said, potential to really change and shake things up. Like, 
they see all of the potential at least those two like as a duo have and how far like they could go and that i think was it was fucking dope to see but also like that could be maybe a bit intimidating and a bit scary for for your opponents because if you're showing these like signs now and like this potential now and and clearly it's effective like you, you maybe you haven't polished it but if you're like this good now or showing signs of being fucking amazing later like yeah like that's that's gonna scare somebody like fuck like we don't even want to give this guy the opportunity to get better and i'm speaking more about show here because he's more so the one that needs to work on polishing all of his other like uh techniques you know receiving maybe he's got to work on well he kind of did it this episode but like spiking without keeping his eyes closed did i say that right yeah without keeping his eyes closed um because i i mean i know that he can do it but like it's kind of forcing like kageyama to be perfect all the time and yes we know he has that perfect ball control but no one's 100 percent reliable all the time like sometimes you're gonna have a slip up and if you could like have your eyes open that might make up for that little difference every now and again but i also like back to the guy on the other team the setter like um he admitted which i love that like kageyama is a he is a he's better at tossing like to his spikers and shit but he's like but i'm a better setter i'm a better receiver and i'm a better blocker or spiker did he say it was like three things and and it was just like what the fuck <laughs> you're you're better than him in all of those like that was crazy to me also but like yeah both of those like it was shocking to me like damn but it makes sense he's older than him he's more experienced but maybe he's just that much better than him just naturally like he's got that much talent but then he admitted like hey but but i don't have i'm not i'm not as good at tossing to my to my spikers so at least he's able to admit his faults and doesn't have like this crazy i don't know inflated ego and it, like people who can't see their own faults it's a it's only honestly you're just hurting yourself because if you can't see where your flaws are you can, you'll never be able to improve them therefore you're never going to improve yourself and you'll kind of just you're limiting how far you can go you know what i mean so the fact that he knows what his weaknesses are and knows what his like opponent's strengths are like versus his own strengths and weaknesses strengths and weaknesses is great because now you know what you need to work on and you know what you're up against i like how they all have like studied each other it's i don't it's impressive to me and it just shows like just how much dedication they have for this sport and it's it's touching um and inspiring I know I say that all the time, but, like, it is. But what else? Um, should I go back? And the fact that, like, he's so smart because he, he specifically targeted Suki. He could have targeted Sho. I don't know why he didn't, but, like, I guess Sho got a lot of screen time the last couple episodes, so, like, now it's Suki's turn to get a little bit. <laughs> he only got a little bit, though. Um, But, like... He only watched a little part of the game and still he was able to pick up on all like each individual player's strengths and weaknesses and was able to like like very calculatedly like target their worst receiver and it was just like one to have that accuracy Whew, awesome but the fact that you picked up on so much in so little time <laughs> bro that is amazing <laughs> like that is so fucking cool i'm just I, I don't know i'm thoroughly impressed by that man um we need an ace spiker and who can battle three blockers by himself all by himself a liberio especially for defense <laughs> see i don't know what a library libero is like Libero? How do you, how are you, I don't know how to say it. They, I was watching Running Man and they said that, like, what is that? Where's my phone? Um, especially for defense. Fuck. Who specializes in defense. They're very quick. Come on, load. Load. Um usually quick maybe shorter than many of the other players and has honed his or her 
his or her defensive skills to a fine point. It's all about defending against spikes and helping control the ball for an eventual attack. Oh, there are rules designed for this player. A team must declare that person as such before a tournament begins. Once declared, the Libero can substitute freely for any other volleyball player but must stay on the back line. They can't block or attempt to block or serve. Further, volleyball players on the front line can't attack from a point higher than the net if receiving a fingertip pass from a libero who moves to the front zone during a rally. That second part right there, that like last sentence was way too much for me. That just like, whoo, that was a lot. Um, but anyway, they can't block or attempt to block or serve. They gotta stay in the back line. Okay, the whole fingertip thing, no. Um, so would that be the guardian? And then an ace spiker. Yes, so he's the guardian. Okay, that's what the, their guard. When is this guardian deity coming back? Deity, deity. I don't know how to really. That's the right way to say it, but um, I want to just make sure I talked about everything. Call him senpai. He'll love it. <laughs> I remember that. Fuck. Okay. He's shorter than show. It's so cute. I just love it. Okay, what is his name? This guy at this shop. Sak Sakanoshita. It might be his name. Sakanoshita. I don't know. Sakano. I'm just gonna call him Sakano. Uh, I'm gonna forget his name by the next time I react to this. Um. Um. He might say his name here. I want to get the guy with the glasses. Uh. Is a director or is he the director? This guy might be a- that's his position, director. Damn, he didn't say his name. I thought he would say his name. Shit. So he's gonna go find a coach. Da -da -da. We can fix it and still use it. So I wonder why he broke the, the broom. I'm assuming that the, the guardian broke it. I wonder why he did that. Um, I really was trying to find the name so you guys wouldn't have to, but I'm doing too much. But anyway, I don't know what else to say about it, but... Yeah, the do the the setter on the other team was awesome. Um, we've got a coach coming in. We've got a new um, libero coming in, um, and now we need our ace spiker, which I'm assuming. I think there's one more guy on the poster that's not there, and I don't know what he looks like, but I feel like he just has brown hair, all like all brown. Can't remember. Anyway, but yeah. It was a dope episode, and I like how there's just, like, they didn't really completely villainize any of the characters. Like, they're all, like, you'd kind of just see them all as just competitors. Like, I don't, I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't call them enemies. Like, they're just your opponents, yeah. And it, they make it really, like, yeah, they just make it, they make it really hard to, I hate somebody like Suki's such a dick, but I still think he's hilarious. Like they, I don't know. They just they make it funny. I don't know. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, so please check that out. And yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.